Alright, welcome back to Spyro 2, um... That was slight annoyance. Yeah, what's the... Trying to think of like a bad joke, uh, for this session, but I guess that works. But yeah, this uh, level kind of speaks for itself. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I I kind of remember it being kind of long, but maybe I'm misremembering. But I mean, just a general idea. Uh, the, this farm is getting overrun by like bugs and stuff, and yeah, we gotta. Get rid of them, pretty much. So turn or turn back on the uh, lamp things to attract the bugs. And speaking of which, there's a spider that I need to get rid of. Don't kill it, please. Just take it outside. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> this is why you come to see his brain. It's always a fun little adventure. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I don't have I uh, this level's all right. Like a little bit, a little bit simplistic. Uh, but I mean, it ha it I. It does do a uh, fun thing with the supercharge later on. Um, if a little bit trial and error based. Um, but other than that, it's a uh, pretty standard Spyro 2 affair. Uh, just do go through the main path, uh, take out the enemies, um, and deal with the main, uh, the main issue presented in the level and you're good and you have a few optional stuff to get the orbs uh, but I guess they, uh, that being said I guess that, uh, that's something I should bring up um, no talismans are in the remaining levels in this game they're all gonna be orbs so the um, oh goodness uh, the um, the items you'd get you get now from just beating the stage normally are orbs themselves now so uh, as you probably saw while we we're trying to we we're trying to just loot the home world we just needed orbs to get to Repto now so um, yeah <laughs> of course we already have enough orbs to get to Repto <laughs> yeah and um, it would have been I think it would have been uh, better in terms of just reducing backtracking if you did just have orbs and no talismans because while I do like the talismans being a thing and I like the designs and all that um, if you just needed orbs to reach the boss areas you could just get enough orbs do the boss get the abilities then go back and play the levels where you need that ability but um, now I've, I've already said all I, all I needed to about that so I won't harp on that again but yeah And I will say, um, as much as I do think Spyro 3 is, I, I do find uh, Spyro 3 the best overall, uh, despite some of its own shortcomings, uh, which I'll, which I'll also address, um, to be fair, like, I don't, I don't think it, any of these games are without their flaws, um, but, yeah, I, I'll say this not right now, like, uh, the issue with, like, having to play every level to get to the boss is a thing in Spyro 3 as well, so I'm not gonna harp on just this game in particular for that. But, you know, trying to get some enemies we have to head bash. You don't really see much use of that, of the head bash in this series, so that's always appreciated. I I actually, hmm? Huh? What'd you say, Harry? I was gonna say, um, 
I actually didn't, because I played Enter the Dragonfly first, I didn't actually know the head bash was a thing you could do. And I don't even know if you ever need it. <laughs> I don't recall using it much in that game. Yeah. And hey, what are you, son? These robot farmers remind me of the episode of Futurama when Fry and Leela go to the moon. This gives me, yeah, this level in general gives me a, a slight Futurama vibe. I mean, that might be said for the, uh, more so for the, uh, another level, but we'll get to that. What the heck? Oh. There we go. How come, why, why is it not counting, is it? Um. Oh, they respawn. There we go. My fields are safe from those flying vermin, Spyro. Take this doodad I done dug up yesterday. Alright. Uh, so, um... So, just a general, like, uh... You can probably use this as a gauge of when this was recorded, but um, a couple days ago, I want to say, they released the box art for the uh, Reignited Trilogy, um, and they have some interesting redesigns for Ripto, <laughs> like an interesting redesign. Like, the Sorceress looks about as she did before, and Nasty Nork is about as I'd expect, but Ripto is, like, really weird. Like, I don't really know how I feel about that. What's your take on that? It'll, it'll probably look better in game. Yeah. I mean, I hope so because you know, I do like I do because I really like uh, Ripto's design. Like as much as I've criticized him over the course of this playthrough, um, I think he does have the the uh, most iconic and fun design out of the three villains, and, um, you know, as a character, I think he's the most enjoyable just to watch. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. We'll see. And these enemies are getting on my last nerve right now. We don't even know what those things are made of. Yeah. It's like corn or something. Right, I'm not gonna take any chances with you. You don't usually u lose sparks, so it's like... When you do, it just feels... You feel naked. naked, yeah. Especially since you have to grab everything by yourself. Is there a sheep running around? Uh, it might have been higher up. Yeah. Oh. Scream. <laughs> right, now I need to just remember where the rest of the stage is. I don't think I can re can I? No. I think you can make it. Oh. Um. Let me try. I wish I knew how to do that double jump glitch. Like, if anyone, like, knows about it, let me know, because, uh... 
I've seen some people do that before, but I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Like, make it work. Let's try and... No, I can't choose that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going back this way. I'm gonna need to just go up this way. You can still hear the game, right? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I have to do this. Nah, it's too far away. I feel like I need to do something on hit, like glide somewhere though. I'm gonna kind of follow this path, I guess. Oh, wait. Okay. I think I'm just supposed to do this. And then... Yeah, okay, I, I was overthinking things, my bad. Uh, that wouldn't be the first time. I can't tell you how many times in my Mario DS playthrough where I kept on trying to get a star coin the complete wrong way and I can just really overcomplicated things when it was just like the simplest thing the simplest solution ever now we turned it back on Way to go, Spyro! The helm varmints won't be coming near our crops now. Can I offer you a reward? Okay. I appreciate the, um... Was it the... Uh, whirlwinds that appear when you sometimes when you reach higher areas so you don't have to worry about going back up again they do that um often spiral one and i i assume that happens in three as well i could be mistaken but yeah the convenience is nice yeah and this is what i was talking about the supercharge and, uh, epic well, fail. Now I remember why I'm kind of iffy on this level. Yeah. Because I, I do kind of... I like and dislike this part of the stage because, um, I like just going, trying to go through the path. Uh, but with all the pumpkins and stuff in the way, it's kind of hard to see what's, uh, what, what, what you're running up to. Um, so there's a lot of trial and error, and, um, yeah, that can be annoying. I may have played. Yeah, man. Okay, I need I need to <laughs> stop sucking. <laughs> I apologize for lack of commentary. For me, I'm just this is the part of the game where I played that I couldn't kind of was just getting fatigued. Yeah, I can understand that. Yes. It's like I, I just want I just want to get to ripped over. Yeah. Do you think part of that might uh part of that has to do with the fact that the pacing is kind of off? Because they like, like with two like really like one pretty uh, large world and uh, and one really large world you kind of get exhausted after that to be honest 
Like, the, you, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I again, I collected as many orbs as I could in the first two portions of the Oof. of the world. So I don't like when I got to the winter area, I was. Oh come on! Tag damn it! Wow. When I got to the winter area, I didn't really need to collect anymore. Yeah. I was just going through that. I was just going through the. I was just going through it out of obligation. You want to fill that completionist requirement? Yes, I just want to get everything. A fine yeah. piece of steering that was, Dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> but like you, yeah, they they. Again, they really should have spaced out the levels more evenly because the thing that they with the Spyro one and three, I feel like the levels are generally are like evenly placed, um, and one world doesn't overstay its welcome. But in this game, it just worlds one and two especially just go on for way too long for their own good. So like, I I just get really fatigued while playing this game. Um, and I, I don't know, like, by the, by the end of it, I just kind of get a bit brain dead, if I'll be honest. Especially if you plan I mean, playing this game in, like, a couple sittings. I mean, I just don't, I mean, my, admittedly, I don't think that the, admittedly, I don't think that the third set of levels is particularly strong, but... No. I mean, I think Metropolis is pretty cool, but the others are pretty standard. It's like, this is not really anything that's that spectacular that we haven't seen before. I don't know. <laughs> People thinking we hate this game, but we don't. <laughs> I've yeah, cause <laughs> like I don't want to feel like I I don't want to sound like I'm just ragging on this game, <laughs> cause I do like it. I don't. This is just this level would be this, I guess. Yeah. I mean, those seesaw things are kind of cool, I guess, for platforming purposes. Am I going to right way? I'm lo- I- wait. Oh, I saw it. I lost track of the mystery jar. What would you say is your favorite and least favorite level in this game? If you can think of that. Uh. Hmm. It's actually a hard thing to think about. Um. Uh, least favorite. Well, this is probably there. It's not particularly hard. Just kind of there. Oh, this one, or...? This is one of my... Not, not this is one of my least favorites, but... Mm. I'm not going to be speaking from the front position of impartiality. Yeah. Like, by the time I got to it, I was already pretty fatigued with the game. Yeah. Okay, we just need to get to it. Yeah, I can see that. Huzzah. Uh, this would probably be, yeah, this would probably be one of my least favorite, just because it doesn't really do much interesting things. Uh, um, Jeez. the alchemist level would probably be. That oh yeah, that's probably one of my least. That that might actually be the worst level in the game. 
Yeah, that, that one's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, maybe not bad, flat out, but... I, I, uh... I mean, I kind of explained it in the, uh, in the part, but... It's just nothing I can see you really the value of orb hooks me about this that level. Like, it doesn't, it's not interesting to look at. I don't... It's got terrible missions. Yeah, mm. and uh, the fact that if you don't have the head burst, you have to... You have to um, go back and do the alchemist part again. And the game doesn't tell you about it until it's too late. And the bagpipes are freaking terrible. Yeah, that doesn't help. This is actually a pretty cool level, though. It's a little bit long. It was more interesting to look at. Yeah. You never really see anything like this in the in the other games. Is that the only time we have a pre-level cutscene that doesn't end horribly? from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. I feel like the, um, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but I feel like the, uh, the ending cutscene should have been the intro one, and that should have been the ending. But, you know. These cows, um, can actually be pretty, cha uh, pretty challenging to, uh, get past, so watch it. A cow in a spacesuit. With all the budget cuts, the uh, elevators yeah. need serious work. This... See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. More headbash usage. But, yeah, you'll see a lot more of those space cows in uh, the best game ever, Spyro 4. Enter the Dagon fly. Because everyone loves that game, right? Man, I am not looking forward to playing that game for this for uh, for my channel. Like, I remember when it, I I remember when I recorded the, the Sea Spring run. Man, like that game is just tiring. Did you use the GameCube version, right? Uh, I think I had the PS2 one. Why would you play the worst version? I didn't even- I- I didn't know it was considered the worst. The GameCube version is- oh my gosh. <laughs> the GameCube uh. version is considered slightly less glitchy. Uh, okay. I might see if I can invest in a cheap copy. Uh, when I have to do that. Cause, uh, I think it was just my- my, uh, the fact that I had a used copy, but um, I had a, well, obviously I have a PS2 copy and all that, but like, um, every now and then the game would just freeze on me, and that was just annoying. As you can see, a vicious ox has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The ox is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. <laughs> I remember this being pretty simple. This is technically the first mini boss in the series, right? Uh, I think so. Okay, it's getting a little bit messy right now. It doesn't help that Sparrow's ice physics so. I don't know, don't know if the end, the Legend of Spyro games have ice physics or not. And if they do, I hope they, I hope they're better. I got wrecked. All right, I need to not make him get like five bombs out. Man. Oh, 
I don't remember this being this annoying. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, two more should do it. Ow. There we go, okay. Excellent work, dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. <laughs> Hmm. I'm trying to think like at this point we've pretty much covered most of what to talk about in this game. Uh, well, time for talk about E3 because I won't date this video at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have no interest in what uh, EA showed pretty much. Um, they uh, announced some prequel characters for Battlefront 2, which is, which is cool, I suppose. Besides that, uh, I haven't heard. Oh gosh, I haven't heard anything too crazy. So you know. I don't really know what to expect from the other guys, so apparently, like, Sony's only gonna have, like, a, f like, a few games, um, and the rest are just g are gonna be, like, third-party focused or something. Um, Microsoft, I, ha I have no idea what they're doing right now. So, it's like, at the moment, Nintendo's, like, showing is the only one I'm, like, really... Um, excited about because we we know at minimum we're gonna see smash and that in itself is exciting but you know besides that we could see Metroid Prime 4 potentially uh, maybe Pikmin 4 finally Animal Crossing would be cool for those that uh, are into that Get some uh, health back. Oh no. Because, like, the Sony, like, Sp they have, like, Spider Man, which we've already seen a lot of uh, stuff for. There's Spyro, which I'm excited to see more of that, but, you know, it's not really a surprise. The, the only, like, surprise uh, Sony has, unless they, like, completely throw us for a loop, is Last of Us Part 2, because we haven't really seen how that game works. We saw a woman's arm get messed up. I think that's what we need to know. Yeah, I heard about that. I never- I haven't seen that. Now, what is your general, like, feelings towards E3 right now? Well, I, uh, didn't watch EA because I was... What was I doing at the time? I just wasn't watching EA's show, and uh, yeah. it seemed, depending on who you asked, I didn't miss much. Yeah. I mean, nothing for Swift. Ouch. I wonder if you can actually do this without the... the the, the uh, ability. Probably not. But... They're not really releasing anything I want aside from Unravel, and that's not coming to Switch, so... Yeah. Uh, camera, please. What is with this camera? What is with the camera? That is messed up. <laughs> ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for 
for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep and their spaceships must be stopped. Alright, so... This is actually one of my favourite challenges or missions, whatever you want to call it, in the game. Because it's, you're taking advantage of uh, things you've no uh, known before, the super flight and the super flame. And you had to use them. Yeah, you had to use them both to kill the uh, kill the sheep in the UFO things. Uh, there's a second round, which is a little bit harder. Um, it's not the most difficult thing in the world, but it's really. I I think it's a cool idea, and having like both power ups in one is a nice novelty. This is definitely not. This is not hard. Yeah, it's definitely not worthy of diffic difficulty level f like five stars though, so I don't know what that's about. <laughs> you know. What if these aren't actually? Hmm. What if the star levels aren't actually difficult? And you're just referring to the actual quality. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually pretty hilarious. Because I, I don't know. I, as far as like a like his nice challenge in the last. Man. Batch of worlds go, and Here, it's pretty cool. Your victory. See, I can be positive about this game. <laughs> I do, I yeah, but like again, I do, I do really like this level though. It's very unique. You don't really see anything like this ever, ever again. And, um, that's some cool ideas. And actually gives head bash a use. So that's always appreciated. Alright. I just want to do some cleanup now. Uh. What do you, what are you hoping for at E3, like, any, like, crazy announcements? I mean, yes, I hope that every year, though, so I'm spoiled. Uh, hmm. I feel like a bunch of stuff got leaked, and I'm trying to, trying to plug my ears about that. I yeah. want to be surprised. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of surprised at myself. Uh, because I I keep seeing a bunch of these like um, like rumors or leaks or whatever of like this and that showing up showing up in my YouTube feed and I I usually just cave in and watch that but I I've been I just been stare, stare, staring away from that stuff for the most part. The only thing that uh, that um, I kind of caved in for was the uh, that crash thing because I don't know it, like that. You had to see it to believe it. I, yeah, believe like it. I I need to see that to believe it because it kind of like, a new a new crash level like seems kind of random. Like I I I, I expect them to be working on an, another game at this point so just pairing the idea of a new level in ring it ring night in, in an end scene is a little bit i mean i i i i'll if it's true um it could potentially be a completely new level f by uh, vicarious visions which i'm down for but i just hope they uh, don't like, like the five-year plan for Crash isn't just to pad out Insane Trilogy's life cycle. Wait, I, I do... thought, does he have a gem back there? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I was going back for this. Oh. Oh, never mind. Alright. But yeah.
be yeah, they... it's probably the... Hmm? What do you say? Oh, well, for, before I get to that, the... You wanna, you wanna have some, uh... Death? Question mark? Yeah. Goodness gracious. Part of me feels like that should have been the intro. I don't know about you. Like, I don't know if that's just me, but... Someone in Sonic must have been having a bad day. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... What was I saying? Uh... I'm, I'm, down, I'm definitely down for another crash stage. Um, but... I hope, I hope they don't rush out a new game, because uh, there's a there's a rumor going around that a Crash game is supposed to come out next year, so, or something like that. So if this new stage thing is real, I hope that they aren't focusing too much time on it and focusing more most of their efforts on the new game. Well, I mean the people hanging yeah. the insane trilogy ports. Is it is new by character's vision? <laughs> right. Like if it's a different team entirely, uh, that's work. That's focusing on that. Then I I can't really complain. I just hope I just hope Activision know what they're doing with this and don't like force VV to just rush out a game because you that that's part of why. Crash ended up dying for almost a decade. I mean, we don't want that again. Oh, you know something to do. Yeah, yeah, well. 